this video is a continuation of lecture 57 i am going to derive the expression of line voltage and phase voltage what i did is i have drawn the phasor diagram i have marked the phase voltage and line voltage here kindly watch the previous video let me continue from here afterwards see vr by this is your vr by vr by means line voltage uh, minus Vyn and Vrn is the phase voltage. Now do construct the parallelogram. You can construct the parallelogram. Correct now. So this is your parallelogram. So you can construct the parallelogram. Fine. Now what is the angle between uh, minus Vyn and Vrn? So you know the angle between Vbn and Vrn. It will be 120, no? This will be 120 degree, correct, no? 120 degree. Obviously, 120 degree. Because the angle between two voltage, two line voltage, that is 120 degree. But what is my requirement is, I need the angle between Vyn and Vrn. What is the angle of ang angle? This will be 60 degree, no? It is 60 degree, correct? So, you can directly apply the parallelogram law of vector addition. According to parallelogram law of vector addition, parallelogram law of vector addition, resultant is Vry. Okay, resultant is Vry. How to calculate Vry? So, Vry can be written as Vry is equal to square root of square root of magnitude of Vrn. square plus square root of magnitude of minus Vyn the whole the whole square plus 2 into magnitude of Vrn magnitude of Vyn minus Vyn into cos 60 cos 60 so please do elaborate vr by that is equal to square root of this will become vrn square plus vyn square plus 2 into Vrn into Vyn into cos 60 means how much? It is 1 by 2, no? 1 by 2. You already know that Vrn equal to Vyn equal to Vbn equal to V phase. So instead of Vrn and Vyn, better put to V phase. Similarly, Vr by equal to V Yb equal to Vrb that is equal to line voltage which is marked as Vn. I think it is very clear. So kindly observe in the phase diagram, you will get an idea. Okay. Now, instead of Vr by, let me put it as Vl. Line voltage now. Vl equal to square root of, instead of Vrn, I am going to put V phase. V phase whole square or V phase square plus. Again, instead of Vyn, I am going to put V phase square plus. This 2 and 2 getting cancelled now. So, 2 and 2 will be getting cancelled. So, Vrn into Vrn. That means V phase into V phase. It is nothing but V phase square. So, let me write below. Vl is equal to square root of 3 V phase square. Am I correct or not? 3 V phase square. That is nothing but what is square root of 3 V phase square? That is nothing but root 3 into V phase. What did you understand from this? So, line voltage that is equal to root 3 times 
phase voltage. In every star connection, the line voltage can be written as root 3 times phase voltage. Obviously, the line voltage is always greater than phase voltage in star connection and it is uh, suitable for high voltage low current application. Now I would like to calculate the total power consumed in 3 phase star connected system. So what is the general expression for single phase power? For single phase power the general expression is Vi cos phi, Vi cos phi, correct or not, general expression for single phase power. But what I require is, I need the expression for three phase power. What is three phase? It's a combination of three single phase. Alright. So what I am going to do is, I will be considering the three single phase system. That is equivalent of three phase system. So total power, I will be writing like V phase equal to V phase equal to sorry power P is equal to V phase into I phase into cos phi. This is corresponding to the first phase. Similarly, V phase into I phase into cos phi plus V phase into I phase into cos phi because single it's a three single phase system now combination of three single phase system is known as three phase system so how we can able to write P is equal to 3 into V phase into I phase into cos phi so this is called the expression for 3 phase power in terms of phase quantities or what I will do is I can write in terms of line quantities so we already know that P is equal to 3 into V phase into I phase into cos phi this is the expression we derived in star connection you know in star connection the line voltage will be equal to root 3 times phase voltage or else phase voltage can be written as VL by root 3 line voltage by root 3 likewise the line current is equal to phase current so you can able to represent the power in terms of line quantities also P is equal to 3 into instead of V we substitute the same value so, Vl divided by root 3 into Vl by root 3 into instead of I phase, what we can write? We can write Il. Il into cos phi. By simplifying, what is 3 by root 3? 3 by root 3 is nothing but root 3 only. Correct, no? Root 3 Vl Il cos phi. So, we will write P is equal to root 3 into VL IL cos phi. This is expression for another expression for 3 phase power. Any expression can be used. Depends on the numerical example, you can use either uh, what I can say in terms of phase in, in terms of phase quantity or in terms of the line quantity. Both are acceptable. At the end of the session, you must have learned what do you mean by star connection, what is the relation between the line quantities and phase quantities in star connection. So, in star connection, we can write the line current is equal to phase current and line voltage is equal to root 3 times phase voltage. Also, we have derived the expression for three phase power in star star connection p is equal to 3 v phase i phase cos phi or else uh, we will write uh, p is equal to root 3 v l i l cos phi if you are having any queries please put up in the comment box i will revert thank you for watching this video